Hi Kate, today we're going, I'm going to make a chicken guisantes. Guisantes is peas. This is going to be one of those really easy to cook meals. If you're pressed for time and all the only ingredients that you have at home will be your chicken, uh, peas or carrots, a bag of peas and carrots, that's pretty much what you need. All you need, the other ingredients that you'll need are just simple stuff, salt, pepper and all that stuff. So let's just get get through the ingredient list and then we'll start cooking our chicken guisantes. For our chicken guisantes, the main ingredient will be chicken. I've sliced, this is two pounds of chicken that I've sliced into bite-sized portions around an inch and a half to two inches. Um, also a bag of peas, which is the guisantes, an onion that I've sliced long, uh, lengthwise, half of a bell pepper, red bell pepper, a whole onion that's sliced, some garlic. We're also going to use um, oyster sauce, around two tablespoons. I'm, normally we don't do this, but I'm going to add some vinegar uh, just to add some tanginess onto the chicken, around a tablespoon. Olive oil for the stir, uh, stir frying, and then uh, tomato paste, salt, and pepper. And that's, those are the main ingredients for our chicken guisantes. Once the oil is hot, we're going to add in our onion. When the onions are turning to be soft, I'm going to add in the garlic. I'm going to saute that for around 30 seconds, and then we're going to add in our chicken. When the garlic's already fragrant, I'm going to add in our chicken. I'm going to brown the chicken on all sides. I'm trying to, I'm browning the, all the sides of the chicken. So it's just a few minutes just to brown it. Once you get this kind of color, we're almost there. You'll be ready to um, go on with the next step. Now that I got the brown, a little bit of a browning of the chicken, I'm going to add in just a tablespoon of uh, vinegar. This I'm using apple cider vinegar. I'm going to be using a, around two tablespoons of um, oyster sauce. Some pepper. Salt. going to stir that, mix that in well, and then I'm going to, oh, I also forgot that I was going to add in uh, powdered chicken. And we're going to simmer. Just cover it. We're also going to add in our chopped tomatoes. We're going to let it stew with the chicken. So I've added in a six ounce can of tomato paste in addition with the sliced tomatoes. And we're going to let this cook for around 30 minutes or until the chicken becomes tender or cooked. Okay, we're just covering that up and just let it simmer. So when the chicken's been cooking for 30 minutes or the chicken's cooked, we're going to put a cup or a cup and a half of the peas. We're also going to add our bell pepper. And we'll cook that for around three to four minutes. It's still frozen, here you go. And season it with salt and pepper later on, okay? So after three, four minutes of cooking the peas and the bell pepper, our dish is ready for serving or plating. So here's our um, chicken pisantes. Nice colors, orange, green, reds. Very similar to chicken afritada. 
um, but the only thing different here will be it doesn't have any other ingredients like carrots and potatoes and um, I did don't also difference is that I didn't add any uh, vinegar with affritada but this one I added some vinegar just to add some tang into it so that's the difference here um, let's taste oh that's good sweet tangy well balanced um, goes well with rice or if you do, don't have rice you can eat it uh, toast toast some kind of uh, crusty bread um, it's going to work really fine together so yeah hopefully you get to try it too it's an easy dish to make you have all of the ingredients available in your fridge in your pantry and the main stars will be your chicken and your uh, peas and if you have to, if you don't have tomato paste you could use uh, ketchup with it too okay so here you enjoy it try it enjoy um, chicken guisantes don't forget to subscribe